I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this video, we're going to be sharing with you why we're leaving Nicaragua. We're also going to share with you how to get visa extensions in Nicaragua. And we're going to give our Bucket List awards for the best Nicaragua travel experiences. For those that are new to our channel, we've been living in Nicaragua for 18 months and we came here quite unexpectedly. Yeah, we were only expecting to be here for three weeks as part of a year-long travel adventure across the world in 2020. However, because of COVID, borders shut and we couldn't get back home to our home in Australia. So we've been living in Nicaragua for 18 months, one year of that in the city of Granada. And for the rest of the time, we've been traveling around this beautiful country. Yeah, it's just been amazing to travel all around Nicaragua. We've been to beaches, we've been to volcanoes, we've been to lakes, we've been to inland islands. We've experienced almost everything that Nicaragua has to offer. And we've had the pleasure of sharing our experiences of traveling in Nicaragua with you on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel's been around for a bit over a year now and we're so happy we've been able to get this going whilst in Nicaragua. And the other thing that we've just started is a website called jjbucketlisttravelers.com and our website is full of plenty of travel tips and travel inspiration for planning your next bucket list journey. So we'll make sure we put the website in our description and you can also find the website in the top right hand corner of our YouTube homepage. So before we get into our rather sad part of why we're leaving Nicaragua, we thought we'd do something fun. And so we've created our bucket list awards for our best travel experiences in Nicaragua. So the first category is... Best city. Look, we really can't go past uh, our home for the past year of Granada. So Granada has been our adopted home and we've absolutely loved waking up to the beautiful vista of Mombacho Volcano and also being so central to so many wonderful things around the country. Granada is less than an hour from experiences like Laguna de Apoyo, uh, Messiah Volcano, hiking up Mombacho Volcano, doing the Luzes Letters boat tour. Oh, yeah. There's so much to see there and it's just a beautiful colonial city beautiful, colourful buildings, and it's very walkable, which we quite enjoyed. Yeah, and it's also very livable as well. So if you're thinking on living in Nicaragua, it's a really good start. It's got all the amenities you need. It's very close to the capital city, which makes it easy for doing big shops as well as getting in and out of the country. Yeah. So we do have a runner-up for best city in Nicaragua, and that is the city of Esteli. So Esteli is in the north of Nicaragua and it is a foodie's paradise. There's just so much international cuisine. It's in a prime coffee growing region. So the coffee there is just to die for. It's also in cattle country as well. Yeah, so the steaks are really good. And it is in a cooler climate, which is quite nice for when you want to escape the heat. Mm -hmm. Our next category is best restaurant. So best restaurant goes to our experience in Tree Casa in San Juan del Sur. Tree Casa is an amazing property. You've got a tree house and there's all these giant pools around it and there's a slide and a waterfall. So it's a really fun day out and the food there is to die for. So we had and we had lobster, lobster, we had pork ribs, we had various entrees. And if you use the Tree Casa Day Pass, which is $15, you actually get $15 worth of food included, which is great value. And you get your transport to and from San Juan del Sur. Yeah, so it's a great day out and the food's fantastic. And it's really not as expensive as what you'd expect from a resort as well. It was around $40 US in total for lunch and dinner which is great value. Yeah. And for a local dining experience, we have become addicted to Fratungas. Mm. So Fratungas are local Nicaraguan restaurants, which are usually at the front of people's homes and they grill up all these meats and side dishes like tajadas and maduros, which are banana based dishes. 
and oh it's so tasty great value we had Friday night date night at our local Fratanga and we have to say that the best Fratanga in Nicaragua is Fratanga Las Chinitas in Granada yeah so make sure you check them out the next category for the bucket list awards best natural attraction now this category had so much competition in Nicaragua we've already mentioned Laguna de Apoyo Volcano Messiah uh, it's Mombacho. Mombacho Volcano. Oh, there's so many great natural features that you can explore and enjoy in Nicaragua. But what we'd have to say is the most unique experience in Nicaragua is going to... Ometepe Island. Ometepe Island is in the biggest lake in Nicaragua and actually the biggest lake in Central America. And it's an island that has two volcanoes on it. One of those is active as well. Yeah, it's just an amazing place to be and a lot of things to do. There are plenty of beaches to go swimming in. You can hike the two volcanoes if you want. And it's just got such spectacular scenery. Basically, everywhere we went on the island, we were just met with these gorgeous views. Yeah, and the sunsets are just phenomenal. Amazing. Our next category is our favourite accommodation in Nicaragua. We are a little bit biased, and so we can't go past our home of nearly a year, Casa Aguiluna in Granada. Yeah, this is a beautiful property. It's a colonial style mansion with a pool in the middle of the courtyard. It's got beautiful views of Mombacho Volcano, and it's in really close walking distance to all the major attractions in Granada. Yeah, in Granada, you'll find plenty of amazing colonial style homes that you can rent out. And we want to give a shout out to our rental agents, GPS Nicaragua in Granada. They were fantastic. And so if you are thinking of coming to Granada and staying for a while, make sure you check them out. Apart from our obviously biased home of Casa Aguiluna, our other favourite property was Casa Favorito on El Transito on the Pacific coast of Nicaragua. Yeah, this place was just amazing. It was right on the beach. You had just amazing views to wake up to every morning. The accommodation was just great. It had all the mod cons that you'd expect and even more. And what made it great for us was that it came with their own cook as well. So we got fed three times a day. We got absolutely spoiled while we were there. Yeah, Leslie had the best food and we certainly put on a bit of weight after our time there, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's a very relaxing experience. And what I loved was looking out the window and seeing the lava flows that ran along the beach and the waves that would just come and crash over the top of them. It was a really amazing experience to witness that. And also a shout out goes to Maximo, our groundskeeper there. He was awesome, a lot of fun, and really helped us with our Spanish too. And then finally, Gwen and Doug, our, our hosts. hosts. Uh, they were just absolutely fantastic. Had some amazing stories of their journeys around the world and just great company as well. So thank you so much, Gwen and Doug. We really appreciated our time there. Our biggest regret in Nicaragua would have to be not visiting the Caribbean side of the country. And in particular, Corn Islands. We have heard so many amazing things about the Corn Islands and about the Caribbean side of Nicaragua, and we were dying to visit. Unfortunately, it was just too far for us to comfortably feel like we could travel over there. And so we, we've had to not visit it this time round. But hopefully one day we will come back to Nicaragua and we would love to visit the Corn Islands. Yeah. We've also received a lot of requests from you for us to go and visit. So we're very sorry that we didn't make it there this time, but hopefully one day. Yeah, for sure. So now we're going to talk about why we're leaving Nicaragua and it all has to do with visas. We're in Nicaragua under the 90-day C4 tourist visa. And that gives you 90 days to spend in four countries, Nicaragua, Guatemala, El Salvador and Honduras. We've been able to extend our visas on a rolling basis every 30 days once our initial 90 days 
expired and that was because the land borders were closed around us due to covid due to covid every 30 days it was a bit up in the air as to whether or not we'd get our visa extension because the policies kept changing and especially when the costa rican border opened in april we weren't sure which month would be our last We've gone through this process in a number of places. We were doing it for the best part of a year in Granada, but then when we started traveling around Nicaragua again, we went to Rivas, we went to Esteli, the head office in Managua as well. And we also got rejected in Ocotal. The process was, if you were in a regional office, an office other than Managua, your passport had to be sent to Managua for approval. And so you'd be without your passport for two weeks out of the month. But in Managua, you'd be able to get your visa renewals on the spot, which was quite handy. July 2021, when we went in to get our visa renewal in Managua, we were told that this would be our last month and we needed to be out of the country in the next 30 days. And that in a nutshell is why we are leaving Nicaragua, sadly. Hmm. So we've had a fantastic time here. We could leave and go to Costa Rica and come back again, but that would involve getting COVID tests in order to re-enter the country. And we feel like now it's probably a sign that it's time to move on and slowly start making our way back to Australia. Yeah, we've had a good run here. And don't think that this is the last of the Nicaragua content that you'll see in this channel, because we've taken plenty and plenty of footage. We've probably got enough to last us for the next couple of years. So if you do want to see how we progress in our travels outside of Nicaragua, as well as the content that we've got saved up from Nicaragua, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And stay subscribed too, please. If you've got any travel tips for us on Costa Rica, we'd be very glad to hear it, as well as any content that you'd like to see from us in Costa Rica. Just let us know in the comments. So our plans for the next foreseeable future are to go to Costa Rica. There's a 90-day visa for Costa Rica, and then we're hoping to go overland to Panama for another 90-day visa in Panama. And after that, maybe Europe, maybe maybe we'll try and start heading back towards Australia via Europe and Asia. That's the plan so far, but we're taking it one day at a time. Yeah, one thing we've learnt is that, you know, you, know, you can't really plan for anything these days. So you just got to wing it. Thanks for joining us on our journey and we'd love to hear what you think. So please leave us a comment in the comment section down below. We read and respond to every comment that we get and we always love to hear from you. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.